In this video we're going to have a look at the new redundancy feature in a new version of Dante Controller. Uh, for those of you who use redundant Dante networks in, uh, up until this release of Dante Controller, you haven't been able to connect the controller to the secondary network. Uh, this new release allows you to do that either using two network interfaces in one computer or in a computer with one network interface putting it on the primary network or on the secondary network. This allows you to get full control uh, of the network in the event that the primary fails because everything that happens on the primary also happens on the secondary so you get all the information and the ability to create connections or monitor the, the uh, status of devices throughout an event. So the first thing you'll notice is down in the bottom left corner we now have two icons. Uh, there's one indicating the primary and one indicating the secondary network interface. Uh, if you click on that it will pop up your interface selection dialog box and in here is where you configure which interface is used for which network. In this computer I've got two interfaces, one called primary and one called secondary. So if I tell DC that I want to run uh, the secondary network now, it will go away and come back with all the devices and now you can see the green icon. We're now talking to the Dante network on both interfaces uh, in parallel. If I was to pull the primary cable out, for example, or something was to go wrong with the primary network, you'll see here the Dante controller, bank that's gone red, it will go back and it will report all of the devices that it can see on the secondary network. Now, in this setup that I have here, some of the devices are redundant and some of the devices are not. So in, in the current scenario, I can see only the devices that are redundant, and when the primary comes back, I'll be able to see all those devices that are non-redundant and have one interface only. And there is everything coming back now. So this is a very, very useful feature if you uh, care about redundancy and you care about survivability uh, of your control function during uh, an event. And so if you look here in the network status view, which is a new view in this version of Dante Controller, which is a summary of all the network information about the, uh, the devices that are on the network. If I was to disconnect the primary network, which I'll do here virtually, you'll see that I can still see all of the devices that are redundant and all that information that was uh, previously available is still there. And when if I reconnect the primary network, you'll see that all the other devices will come back. So that should give you confidence that everything is uh, working as you expect and is going to be survivable in the event that you know, someone pulls a cable out in the middle of a show.